This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance provides high quality instructor led training videos for desktop, IT, and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching, and we hope you learned something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. In Excel 2013, there's a great new feature that I think is really going to pick up speed and people are going to use it a lot, and it's called posting spreadsheets to social networks. Let me show you an example. This is a very simple example, but in your real world, this could be any Excel spreadsheet that you have. So mine is just a, just a goofy little thing because I really posted this out to Twitter and I posted it out to Facebook and so I didn't want to put anything personal out there that I didn't want to give them all of my Facebook and all of my Twitter friends access to. So remember, whatever your spreadsheet is, that's what posts. Now, how do you put it out there? You go into the backstage and you click on file to get to the backstage and click on share. When you very first click on share, look over here to the right, it's just connecting to the server to find out what you are connected to and you are connected based on up here in the top right hand corner, whichever account you've established the connection with inside of Excel. So it's going out there and it's looking and it's figuring out what I've personally connected to. Now I've only connected to two accounts. I connected to Twitter and I connected to Facebook and they're gonna pop up here in just a few minutes and it'll show you the check marks. Well, how does this work? You have to store the file in the SkyDrive. And when you have the file stored in SkyDrive, then people who click on your links in Twitter, whoops, let me go there. People who click on your links in Twitter or Facebook, they're actually directed then to the cloud and it opens up in a SkyDrive version of your Excel spreadsheet. So click on post to social networks and here are the two that I'm connected with. Now, I'm gonna come back and talk about this in just a moment, but how did I get connected to these two? That's what I wanna speak, speak about right now. Well, how I got connected is the very first time you click on post to social networks, there's a button over here that says, hey, go get connected. I don't remember the exact wording, but that's basically what it means. You would click and it takes you out to a web page that gives you every opportunity for the um, links, the things that you can link to via Microsoft. Yeah, well, I already did it once, and once is all you get. So what happens if I want LinkedIn, for instance? Maybe I want to connect to LinkedIn. Well, then back over here in your pane. Now, remember, this is simply in the backstage. So if you were in the Excel spreadsheet, you just click on File, and you go to Account. And in Account, down here at the bottom, I need to scroll down all the way to the bottom, right? It tells me what I've connected to already. And by the way, here's your manage. So if you want to disconnect or if you want to change something about your connection, you would simply click on manage and go out and, and work with that account. But I want to add a service. And so I click on add a service and here are all of the items that originally are on the screen all at one time. But now they're individually located. So you have Facebook for Office, Flickr and YouTube. And under storage, you have Office 365 SharePoint and the SkyDrive. And then these are the three most popular social medias. And you're saying, yeah, but Sherry, you only have LinkedIn. Exactly, because I've already connected to Twitter and to Facebook. But if you've not yet connected to Twitter and or Facebook, they'll also be listed here to the right. And then all you do is click on the one that you want to connect to. And then you just follow this little, little I always call it my guru. I know that's kind of a weird thing. That's totally a Sherry term. But you just follow it through and you can get connected. Now, I'm not going to connect to this one right now, but you would click the connect button. You have to give it your username. You have to give it your password. And then you have to give permission for Excel to access your LinkedIn account. And once you finish this, then you'll have LinkedIn as an option as well. For now, I'm going to go ahead and click on cancel because I don't want to click in there. Whoops, excuse me, I clicked my mouse twice. Now, I have my connected services. Let's go back to share and let's go back and see about what it looks like when you actually connect, post. So click on where you want to post. If all you want to post is Facebook, choose Facebook. If you want to post to both at the same time, you just turn the checks off and on. Now, I also want you to notice the post button down here at the bottom. And I'm not typing anything real. I'm just holding my keyboard down on an A. Because remember, Twitter has a limit on how many characters you can type. And as soon as you hit the limit, as soon as you reach the limit in Twitter, no more post button. 
So it doesn't let you accidentally type more than what you can actually post a, into that social network. If you only have Facebook checked, you'll have whatever the limit is of Facebook characters. I think it's a pretty cool feature. Once you put your message in here, what you want it to say on your page, then you decide what happens when people actually click the link. Can they edit whatever you're giving them access to, or can they only look at what you're giving them access to? So you make the choice here, and then you click Post. Well, I've already done this, so let me show you, let me give you an example here in Facebook. This is what my post looked like in Facebook, right? It, my message, this was just the message that I typed down here, and I simply said, cool, just an example for my class on how to post to Facebook and Twitter, and then there's the link. Now, I'm going to click on that link in just a moment. Over here, I have my Twitter post. <clears throat> Excuse me. Cool, just an example. See, it's the exact same thing because it came from the exact same message when I clicked the post button. Now, let me go ahead and click the link from Twitter, but you get the same thing no matter if you clicked it from Twitter or if you clicked it from Facebook. It would take you out to the same location. Let me maximize here. And oh, it flashed on the screen really fast, but this is going out to the sky the sky, the, the cloud version of Excel. And look, there's my Excel spreadsheet. Now, if I have a friend that's clicked on it and he or she goes in and they type something and they work inside of this uh, spreadsheet and they save it, then where I will find it the next time I pop into the spreadsheet, it, and I didn't type anything, by the way, but where I would find it is right here because remember, this file is saved in the cloud and I saved it in the cloud so I could share it out there with my social media friends. I think you'll agree that there is some potential here. There's some potential for getting connected with your friends, with your coworkers, with Microsoft products. So check it out, get connected with your social networks and post things out there so that you can share with anyone that you have a connection to. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.